My, my planter bed, raised garden bed. I just put some um, compost dirt, um, planters mix, azomite, some rock dust, and ready for my plant. Um, put some beans down here to grow some some on pole beans and snow peas I planted there to go up the wall on the trellis up that my grapevine just sprouted back ready looking good too you know yes garden 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 time got some lettuce down there growing my daughter Emily. Got some Japanese Napa cabbage growing. Looking good, you know. It's kind of still kind of cold, but some kind of way this cabbage is taking. Like the cold, I guess. And broccoli, I got broccoli growing down this row. Two rows of broccoli. Pretty soon I'll have um, mustard greens right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I have garlic, about three rows of garlic growing. And some, my tree is blooming beautiful. Another tree over there. Compost being in the back, all compost. Right. Another tree right there is blooming real good. My collard greens in the back. Another tree. Another tree. Another tree. Got a lot of trees. Let me show you this tree over here. Let me walk over here. Okay. Tomato plant growing. It's a lot of these. One of these days, it'll get big. The tree is blooming. See the blooms. The garlic. We got the garlic growing. Oh, hold on, yeah. It's kind of early. It's just um, March. Another tree is blooming. Small blooms on this one, not too many, so not enough fruit. Like I said, my compost. I'm going green. I got it. Got the eggs and the potatoes in there. Last year I grew potatoes in there. I guess the potatoes are going to sprout up again this year in there. A lot of blooms and trees, just plums. Plums are going to be there this year. A lot. Didn't get none last year. Some stuff in the wind blew all the plums out. Collard greens growing. Uh, there's a three and one Santa Rosa, Sassume, Italian prune, a grafted tree. It's got another fruit on it too. It's growing this year. I'm proud of it. Shiro. I got a dwarf peach, white peach. Pretty good peaches on this last year, you know. Dwarf. Now this one. The first year it bloomed. Look at all these blooms on this tree. The first year gonna be fruit. Lots of fruit. Look at that. There's a fruit right there. Nice. It's gonna be a lot a lot of fruit on this tree. I'm trying to grasp it. I haven't got anything to stick yet. See, I grafted a plum on this peach, but no luck yet. If I have any luck, it'll be on that little piece right there. Yes, I like that one. So this is a nice tree. Then I also have, I, I live in um, Palmdale, California, and it's hot and it's cold. Right now it's cold. These are um, pineapple guava. Last year, one bloom, one tree bloomed. I had two right there, right here. One tree bloomed, 
and I didn't get any fruit though it dried up so maybe this year I get more blossoms this area here I got an orange tree, orange tree dwarf um, when I moved to Palmdale, I took it from my old house and I really haven't done anything, nothing grow. In fact, it dies in the winter, comes back in the summer. So I don't know what to say. I might give it away. Look at this. Yeah, that's one. Weird bugs out here. This is a bean cherry tree. I'm trying to blossom. I haven't blossomed yet, but it's on its way. It's on this way. Never got any cherries. Never even seen the cherry grow. Here's another three in one, three in one tree: Sassuma, Santa Rosa, and Shiro, an Italian prune. Four have a bloom there. <coughs> bloom here. Italian prune right here. Nothing. I don't know what. Maybe it's too late. Here's my onions from last year's going to seeds. There's a lot of little green onion plants in there. And here's an apple. Apple tree. Golden delicious. No blooms yet, no leaves yet, no nothing. I tried to I put a um aging pear graft on it. Now, I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm hoping it works, but if it don't know, well I'll try again next year. Another bean cherry tree. No blooms yet. Just just look like this. Um, nectarine tree. I put a net on there, a bird netting on there. It's real thin. Now I can't get it out. It's on there, and if I take it out, I pull the leaves and the little fruit it has on there. I think it had like five fruits on it. I think all of the wind blew all the other blooms off early. Oh, here's here's a nectarine right now. Yeah. One nectarine right there. Nice. It's a desert delight. Have you ever heard of desert delight? That's what this is. I couldn't tell you what it tastes like. Now I have another lemon tree. You see how bad the lemon trees do in the winter? They die. But then start heating up and they come back. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull them up and take them to a better climate somewhere in Los Angeles. This is a, a Japanese persimmon tree. It's in the bloom. Of, it's starting to bud. So I guess I have persimmons this year. Last year, not too many. The year before, a lot. So I'm, I'm predicting this year I have a lot. This is an American American persimmon. Is to kind of make your mouth pucker, got that make your mouth feel funny when you bite into it. Yeah, so I, I really don't care for this kind. I, I like this kind. It's uh, this is the kind of you can just bite into it and, and no effect. See, I'm trying to the one I like. I'm trying to graft one into it and see I can make a better, better one. So I'm trying. Here's a navel orange tree. Yes, look, it's still green, so I'll probably keep this one. Um, this is my yard overall look. Big area, you know, a lot of growing spaces. Against that wall, I'm gonna put a trellis up there and grow my melons, my um, honeydew, maybe some pumpkin, maybe some sugar baby watermelons. My son, he's coming through the motor, the motor line. He keeps my yard up. So, Becky, here Becky, nice looking pet bull, huh? His name Becky, her name Becky, Becky, she don't want to let look at me, but she, she's pretty mean too. I'm coming through this area right here, it's going to get dug up, it's going to be, um, maybe with cilantro in here, and the other side of carrots, and here, last year I had turnip greens, on the shady side of the house. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this shit. I might not do anything, but it depends how I feel. Let me show you something. 
I'm just walking through my yard. That's the front of my yard now. I have sugar cane, but now it's, it's like it's died. Well, I believe it'll come back in spring. This is spring now. I'm waiting on it to come back. This is my wood chips, a log. I tripped over that log and broke my leg. <laughs> Been off work for a little while now. Now here is a ornamental plum tree. Beautiful, you know. Have little cherry looking plums on there. In Los Angeles, they don't grow no plums or fruit, but here in high deserts, a lot of little fruit on it. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, there's one right there. See if I can see it. See it right? See my finger? Right there. Well, right there. They're real little small right now. But they get big. So I tried to graph this tree now. I think this graph, this graph is success. Look at it. Santa Rosa Plum on this tree. So this tree going to be ornamental and fruit tree. Other side didn't take. But it took. I'm, I'm happy for it. And I think this one took too. So this side of the tree is going to be Santa Rosa Plum. And the other side is going to be um, cherry plums. I try to put nectarine on this side here, but it's, it's oh, maybe it'll work. I'm, I'm trying. Prune. I tried the prune tree. I have to label these trees. I don't know what they are right now, but I, I do have to label them. Um, okay. Nice tree. My roses. See my roses. My front yard. That's where that's where the roses go. See my roses. I got like five different breeds of roses. I don't know anything about roses. I just prune them. And they grow. And I got some rosemary growing in the front yard too. Like a bush. Yeah. Rosemary. Rosemary. Some thyme. I'm gonna roll this. Oh, this is the front. On this was well, a fig tree. I'm hoping it'll come back, but if it do, good. If it don't, oh well. Like my sister, like my daughter-in-law say, it is what it is, you know. And my daughter-in-law right there, Bridget. She don't want to be on TV, but it's okay. And nice. I didn't know rose when we bloom this beautiful, you know. It looks like a regular, regular plant. Well, I keep you updated in my yard. Right.